you can link or import CAD files into a Revit project. You would link a CAD file when you expect the CAD file to change. That way, when the CAD file is updated, you can simply reload the linked CAD file in order to see the changes. When you don't expect the CAD file to change, you can just import the CAD file. Importing a CAD file increases the size of the Revit project file, but uses less memory. In the exercise files for this chapter, there is a CAD site plan that you can link to this project. Switch to the site plan view. To link a CAD file, on the Insert ribbon, in the Link panel, click Link CAD. Revit displays the Link CAD formats dialog. When you expand the Files of Type dropdown, you can see that Revit can link DWG, DXF, MicroStation DGN, ACIS SAT, or SketchUp SKP files. Leave this set to DWG files, navigate to the folder containing the exercise files, and choose SitePlan.dwg. As soon as you do, a preview image appears. In the lower portion of the dialog, you can see several options for controlling how the file will be linked. You should always verify that you have chosen the proper options before linking the CAD file because you will not have the opportunity to modify these link settings after you link the file. If you select Current View Only, Revit will only link two-dimensional geometry, even if the CAD file contains 3D points, and the CAD file will only be visible in the current view. If you are simply using the CAD file as a background for creating Revit geometry, you would probably select this option. But if you want to link in a site plan to use to create a Revit topo surface, you would leave it cleared. In the Colors dropdown, you can choose Invert, Preserve, or Black and White. If the CAD file was created with a dark background, you may want to invert the colors in the CAD file. If the CAD file has a light colored background, you probably want to choose Preserve. And when bringing the CAD file into a detail view, you would most likely choose black and white. Select Preserve. In the Layers Levels dropdown, you can choose to include all layers from the CAD file, only those layers that were visible when the CAD file was last saved, or display a dialog from which you can choose which layers to include. While Revit can typically detect the units used in the CAD file, in the Import Units dropdown, you can change the setting from Auto Detect to specific units, or even set a custom unit scale. You would choose Custom Factor if the CAD file was drawn to a specific scale rather than at 1 to 1. In Revit, all elements are drawn at full size and the view scale is set for the desired output. In the Positioning dropdown, you can control how the linked CAD file is positioned within the current model. These options work the same as when linking a Revit project into a host model. Auto, Center to Center, automatically places the linked file so that its geometric center is located at the geometric center of the current model. You would typically choose this option when bringing a CAD detail into a drafting view. Auto, Origin to Origin, automatically places the linked file so that its origin is located at the origin of the current model. In most cases, this is the preferred method. Auto, by shared coordinates, places the linked file at the shared origin position. You would choose this option if both files are already part of the same shared coordinate system. The manual options allow you to place the link manually with the cursor located at one of the three locations in the linked file, at the origin of the linked file, at the base point of the linked file, or at the geometric center of the linked file. 
You then specify the insertion point by picking the location in the host file. Choose Auto, Origin to Origin. The Place At option lets you specify the level on which to place the linked file. In this site view, Level 1 is the only option. When Orient to View is selected, Revit will rotate the inserted CAD file to Project North. Since the site plan is already oriented to True North, deselect this option. Then, click Open. Once Revit reads the file and brings it in, you can see it in the view. When you select the linked CAD file, the entire file is treated as one object. Looking in the Properties palette, you can see the actual file name. There is also a shared site parameter that is currently not shared. When you click the button in the Value field, Revit displays the Share Coordinates dialog. Here, you can either publish the coordinates of the host file into the linked file, or you can acquire the coordinates from the linked file. Best practice is to use the coordinate system set up in the site model or site plan. So if you know that the coordinates in the linked CAD site plan are correct, you can acquire those coordinates. Click Cancel to close the dialog. Also, be aware that the CAD file is pinned. In order to move the CAD file, you must first unpin it. Then you can use any of the modify commands to move, rotate, or align the CAD file to the Revit project if needed. Deselect the CAD file. On the Insert ribbon, in the Link panel, click Manage Links. This tool is also available on the Manage ribbon in the Manage Project panel. Each Manage Links tool opens the Manage Links dialog. You can use the controls in this dialog to manage several different types of linked files, including linked CAD files. On the CAD Formats tab, there are several controls to manage linked CAD files. You can even add linked CAD files by using the Add tool in this dialog. To see this, first remove the linked file by selecting it in the Manage Links dialog and clicking Remove. Now you can use the Add tool to link the same CAD file to this project. When you click Add, Revit displays the Link CAD Formats dialog. Once again, you can navigate to the folder containing the file you want to link. Select SitePlan.dwg. Now when you expand the Positioning dropdown, there are only three options for placing the linked CAD file into the current model. The manual options are not available since you are using the tool from inside a dialog. This is because you would not be able to place the linked file into the project by picking the appropriate position. Choose Auto, Center to Center, and then click Open. Once Revit reads the file and brings it in, you can see it in the Manage Links dialog. Click OK to close the dialog and see the linked file in the view. Also, pay attention to the new location. Remember that the first time, the position was set to Auto, Origin to Origin, whereas this time, Auto, Center to Center was used.